Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Gabor Mate's book When the Body Says No. While I paint an image I created using my unconscious mind using a pattern, an eye and a boat. This comes from the mind of a serial overthinker, so it goes great with the book. It was a tough listen for me. This is a great book on how stress affects your actions or inactions can influence your body and even develop a serious medical condition. It will make you conscious about negative behaviors that can generate disease and which are these behaviors. This book really hit hard on me. It made me think about mortality, made me think if I have any negative behaviors that can lead to one of the diseases mentioned. A lot of people presented in the book had LAS, rheumatoid issues and quite some autoimmune diseases also. It felt strange to hear about all these death and maladies conditions, hard to digest, it made me take a lot of breaks from listening. I never realized that bottling up your thoughts or things you really have to say may lead to such conditions. Some of the patients were believed to be happy patients. They could tell if they showed too many signs of happiness, or I should say if they were too nice, cause this is what they were. The doctors were almost sure they would confirm the diagnosis without testing, which is quite amazing. I never thought that a label like being too nice could lead to a serious disease that later would kill you. The impact the stress has on the body is fantastic. One thing that impressed me about Gabor Mate was the fact that he presented all these cases that he actually had as an MD. And he did a huge amount of research on his patients, writing papers, writing the book and also reading a lot of material in the field of stress and how it affects us. Being able to describe in such detail and backing it up with science helped a lot in making his case that we need to be very conscious of our stress. All these actions and inactions, the things we keep from ourselves and don't say to anyone leads to the body saying no. An example would be a person who acts like a martyr. We all know one person who does this. Helps everyone but not him or herself. Puts herself last. Her biggest priority is helping others. Some are really not aware that they do it for purposes like wanting to feel good for helping other people or use this as an escape from something. In the book, one of Gabor's patients had a very serious rheumatic problem or cancer. I can't remember exactly. Also had an alcoholic husband that had issues, she always took care of him, even though he never appreciated it. When her disease broke off, he left her and cheated on her with a family friend. This is a great example on why you should take care of yourself and be very aware of how the people around you and your job influence your stress. I would love to revisit this book after some time even if it gave me such a hard time to digest it. It does bring a lot of value in awareness. I thought about myself and if I do any of these things presented in the book. Not many young people as examples which lifted up some pressure. But it hit me later in the book in chapter 12 or 13, he was talking about autoimmune diseases and I instantly started thinking about my mother who has polyarthritis. I found it scary, felt like the chapter was describing her perfectly. I hope you would not find such things and use this book just to avoid bad situations and spreading the information to others. My girlfriend recommended this book to me. She told me that it's a great book and the information in it was necessary. So when a new month started, I bought it on Audible. In the meantime, some other people I know bought it as well. This book should be read by everyone interested in understanding how stress affects our body. It's a very good understanding of the relationship between mind and body. This is a good book for both doctors and non-doctors. There is quite a lot of medical terminology in it, but it's easy to understand. And of course I recommend it to my mother who is already an MD but I think it would help her a lot. At this moment the book made me more aware of being stressed. I am more careful with stressful situations. I know I have to relax more to compensate. In time I will revisit it and see the impact it had on me more clearly. I thought about a healthy diet of information, don't click on clickbait or anything that can stress you with no return on investment. Also a healthy diet for my body, at least you can eliminate some causes that can evolve into disease. I can say that in the short term it made me think that some of the people around me could die and made me very uneasy, but also helped to connect with some deep emotions. Of course, stress can be helpful. If you are not stressed in a shootout, you may catch a bullet. Or if you are not stressed when you hang on the top of a building, you may be tempted to jump. Basically, your mind won't map it as a falling off place. I don't know how good these examples are, but you get my point. I remember watching a documentary narrated by David Attenborough. He was saying how the zebra was stressed when attacked by a lion, as you should be. And the moment the zebra got away, the stress went away. 
Unfortunately, we don't know how to control stress so well, but I'm sure we can learn. If you want to do a fun game, take a shot every time I say disease. Make it something lighter, otherwise good luck. The paintings in the clips and others are available for sale on the links in the description, as well as other links to what I use in this video. Thank you for listening. Please leave some feedback if you find this useful, interesting or you have any questions. And subscribe for more. Have an amazing day.